Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of artichoke comfy from forkandflour.com. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Comfy is the process of cooking and storing a food, usually meat, in fat, usually in its own fat. So for artichokes, we'll use a boatload of olive oil, and that extra olive oil has many uses. This process will yield several spin-off recipes. So using large heads of artichoke, we'll start to clean them. This was easier than I expected, and part of my lack of hesitancy was discovering a use for all those leaf leftovers. It feels like such a waste to tear off the big meaty leaves on the outside, but stay tuned, I have a clever use for all those leaves. So wearing gloves helps protect your hands from turning green, by the way. So you can cut off or snap off the outer leaves and slice off the stalk and keep the stalk nearby, it's edible. How many leaves you remove is different for each artichoke. Basically, anything that's super stiff or fibrous will not cook down and you should remove it. Using a serrated knife, cut off the top 60%. Again, anything that's stiff and fibrous will not cook down. Even what I've done here isn't cut down enough. There are still some stiff edges hanging around. And now for the hay in the middle. The little purple leaves are a little prickly and uh, the hay is messy. You can use a melon scooper, but I also used a spoon that also worked well. With either tool, it was some work to wedge it into the middle of the leaves and then start moving it around to loosen the leaves from the artichoke and then to scoop them out and to then keep going for all the hay and just keep going until there isn't any hay left. It's okay to stick your finger in there and feel around and see what's left and you know feel around for where you need to go next. And now for the stalk. Again, we'll be removing at least half, which feels wrong, but there's some good meat in there. So cut off all the green stuff and then take a vegetable peeler and keep peeling off the green threads until you only see the white. Now to prepare the oil. We'll use a lot of aromatics for the oil, like the zest of a lemon, actually one to four lemons. I used one because that's all I had, but the recipe I used called for four. And then take a large pot and fill it halfway with water and squeeze in the juice of one lemon. The other juice will be used later. This will store the clean artichokes to keep them from browning. They won't completely submerge, so don't worry about that too much. They're floaters. So here's all of my clipped chokes, and I'm taking this time to inspect them, to tear off a few more leaves if they feel, you know, edgy or spiky, and to make sure I got all the hay out. And let's take at least eight cloves or up to an entire head of garlic and slice each clove in half and measure out our other aromatics. We need three to six sprigs of rosemary, six sprigs of tarragon if you have it, or half a tablespoon of dried thyme, three bay leaves, three teaspoons of kosher salt, and a teaspoon of black pepper. Heat 750 milliliters or three cups of olive oil in a saucepan. That can hold all four of the artichoke hearts or globes in a flat single layer. And we aren't looking for a high heat because that will deep fry your artichokes rather than boil them. And that wouldn't necessarily be a mistake. That method is a Roman Jewish technique and it's apparently mind blowing. If your oil is too low or the heat is too low, that's okay too. You would just have to let them cook for longer. In my research for this recipe, I found three ways of cooking artichokes in oil. The first method is over low heat for 45 minutes to an hour. The second method is over medium heat for five to seven minutes and then letting them cool in the oil. The third method was that Roman Jewish technique of letting them boil in medium high heat for a few minutes, then remove them, smash them, raise the heat to high, and then deep fry those suckers. And I'm definitely doing that one day. But for today, we're doing the middle method of somewhat hot oil for five to seven minutes. So when the oil is warm but not sizzling, add in your garlic and let it soften for about three to four minutes. I feel like my garlic is sizzling, so I'm gonna lower the heat. I don't wanna fry the garlic, and I especially don't wanna burn the garlic. But it does soften after a few minutes, so we move on. When I add the lemon zest and all the other herbs, I can see that they're turning brown and I'm still concerned that the heat is too high. So I even removed the pan from the stove so it could cool quicker. I finally decided to put in the artichokes and just see what happens. So let's gently lower in each globe. You'll be turning these while they cook so it doesn't matter which end faces up. 
Once they're all in, make sure the entire globe gets covered with oil so it doesn't dry out. And then cover the pot and cook for two minutes. After two minutes, remove the lid and add salt and pepper and more lemon juice if you have it. And at this point, maybe turn the globes. Cook for another five to 10 minutes. Five should be enough unless you have gargantuan globes and then try for closer to seven. With the lid on the pot, we are using both oil and steam to cook the artichokes. Now, After seven minutes, remove the lid and check to see that they're cooked through. If you like them al dente, check them sooner. I like them buttery soft, so this is just right for me. It just slides right off the fork. Now we'll let the globes cool in the oil without the lid on. At this point, they can be stored in a jar or a plastic container in the oil for up to a week, and the oil can be used in a number of ways as a finishing oil. You can't use it to cook again, but you can drizzle it over anything. Now for those leaves. After you clean them off, you can make a broth with them. And that's in a separate video. That is it for this recipe of artichoke comfy. Get the ingredient list in the description below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash artichoke comfy. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Watch the video on artichoke leaf soup and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.